The Philadelphia Eagles are up at number 21. We know they needed wide receiver help. They had a bundle of wide receivers to choose from in this deep draft. And they're going with a man that Brady Quinn knows very well. Jalen Rager out of TCU had a very young quarterback, so his stats probably weren't as, as eye-popping as they could have been. No, not this past season. Max Duggan, their, their true freshman quarterback, uh, limited a little bit with, I think, their scheme and just really the overall opportunities he was getting. However, he did average 20 yards per punt return, have two touchdowns this year in the return game. And then you go back two years ago, 1,000-yard receiver, nine touchdown receptions, and he can absolutely fly. Now, the combine, he didn't run his best 40 time. He did showcase a pro day where he ran much faster, and I think that's what the Philadelphia Eagles are seeing on film. A guy that can take the top off the defense. He's one of the hardest workers when you talk to their head coach there, Gary Patterson, about Jalen Rager. And he's got a tremendous bloodline. His mom was a track star. His dad played in the NFL as well, so he really checks a ton of the boxes when you look at the complete player that he is and how I think he's going to help out Carson Wentz with a legitimate threat with speed but also the return game there in Philly. Yeah, his dad, Monte, won a Super Bowl with the Colts when Peyton Manning won his first title. Uh, Pete Prisco, they, they they had their chance to get uh, Justin Jefferson, Brandon Ayuk. What do you think about going out and getting Rager? I, look, I love Rager. I, I give this a B. One of the things about Rager, and Brady mentioned it, he didn't run a very good 40 or disappointing 40 time at the Combine. And, and the night after that run, I saw his agent. And his agent said, look, he put on some weight, water weight, uh, and it wasn't a smart thing to do, and he kind of didn't run the time that he was supposed to run. And a couple days before, they had timed him much faster. I think this kid can fly. I think he will add a new dimension to that offense. They need more speed. Uh, you know, we don't know about Deshaun Jackson, so I like this pick. I give it a B. Justin Jefferson would have been good here as well. So would have Ayuk. I think they're all kind of lumped in together, but I'll give this a B to Rager. Okay, uh, let's take a look at what the Eagles had to deal with at the wide receiver position last season. Alshon Jeffrey, we don't know what's going to happen with Deshaun Jackson, but this was their number one need. Got to get Carson Wentz some help. Jalen Rager is headed to Philadelphia. Send it over to Amanda Garrett in the newsroom. Amanda, please, this time do not interrupt Dave Richard, whatever you do. I'm going to try. Look, I couldn't hear him before. Um, anyway, Dave Richard, yes, you guys are at home. You guys can't see this. We have him in this little tiny room uh, because we're appropriately social distancing. This room is filled with excitement right now, Dave. You are so pumped about this pick. Uh, I might hijack the show. Uh, Jalen Rager was my third favorite receiver in the draft class. I liked him better than Henry Ruggs. I am over the moon that he's going to Philadelphia. He is already going to be a top five pick in rookie-only drafts. I can't wait to take him myself. The guy's already talked about his speed. He can win jump balls. He's a great route runner. He can change his speed in his routes. There were times where I was watching his film and I thought to myself, am I watching Jerry Judy or am I watching Jalen Rager? And the numbers weren't great because he didn't have great quarterback play at TCU. And now you're putting him in an aggressive passing offense in Philadelphia. Carson Wentz can get the ball deep. He can do everything for this offense. He is my favorite rookie wide receiver so far tonight. I am pumped for Jalen Rager. Can't wait to take him in round seven in seasonal fantasy drafts in 2020. I need I, I need a shower. <laughs> <laughs> You're going to get one in a little bit. we got to get to the end of the draft. Um, I happen to know this answer already, but I want people to know it because my eyes kind of popped when he told me, give me your comp for Jalen Rager. Uh, it's better than Jerry Judy. I think he could be Stephon Diggs. I, I think that his route running isn't on the same level as Stephon Diggs. I'll grant that. But I think he could get there. And I know as a blocker, that's his biggest weakness. He's not a great blocker. That's something he can get better at as well. I think he can be a playmaker in Philadelphia. I think he can deliver several thousand yard seasons for the Eagles. All right, Dave, thank you so much. We will check back in with you soon. Uh, send it back to Chris and Brady. I hope you have the same excitement that Dave, that Dave has. A ton of excitement. And actually, one of the things Dave touched on is his run blocking ability. They're at TCU at times because of how much down the field routes they run. They'll actually tell the wide receivers to kind of take a playoff. Just run a little smoke, a little now, make it look like you're looking for the football. So that is something that you got to be careful sometimes you see if you don't know the scheme behind the fact. Because when okay. he does decide to run block, he can get after someone. Jack is so mad at you that you kept talking wide receiver when we had the best available players up. He's, so he's going to reach it through the control room and wring your neck. Brett. Want a sports network that delivers everything that matters about the game? The highlights, the picks, the instant analysis. No yelling, no fake debates, no politics. Hit the subscribe button and never miss a moment.